What's going on guys, Chu here bringing you a, another review, finale review, on Hokkaido Gals Are So Adorable. And I gotta say, first and foremost, this episode did not feel like a finale, especially with the way things ended, I was not happy with. And I don't say this very often, but if they do make a second season, don't. They've cut out some material that I'm not okay with, especially with the development of other characters. They focus too heavily on the, I guess, the relationship between Fuyuki and Tsubasa. And this isn't much of a spoiler, but even though they are the main characters, you really did not give the showcase to other characters as much. And that is a problem to me because in the manga, everyone kind of gets a moment here. Uh, and especially during this time, and I just don't like where it's heading. But that's just my complaint. I want to go ahead and get that out of the way now, because that is something that I don't want to get wrapped up later. Because in, in, in the episode itself, there wasn't a ton that happened, but that's just my biggest complaint. So I don't say that often, but I do not want a second season unless they fix what they cut out in this first half or this in in this time period but let's get into the episode Whew. so we start off with seeing how Subasa's dad is a jad uh, that is established pretty well and i think that they did good there they have to stay at a hotel obviously there's no trains at this point no forms of transportation it's already late the park is closing they have to go home, but they can't, and therefore Tsubasa's dad, being the chad that he is, was able to get them a hotel. There was a place nearby that he knew, and so they stayed the night. Of course, they're both very nervous. They have dinner, which is nice, and they get back to the room, and Fuyuki goes and takes a shower, but Tsubasa, being the nervous wreck that he is, could not focus on anything. He started daydreaming, and he fell asleep. This, of course, was the perfect time for Fuyuki to slip out. She leaves a note for Tsubasa to look at the following morning. She got picked up by her mom. And by the way, her mom has been one of the best characters. And that they focused on just a tad more. It would have been great. She would have been one of the best moms in anime of all time. That is not even a stretch. Because the fact that she's been so involved makes her such a great character. Yes, she is fan service, but she is a phenomenal character, that aside. Um, but... Fuyuki actually comes into contact with Sayori. We see that Sayori is actually with two characters that I don't want to say are very pivotal in the story, but they are important side characters to Sayori and to um, Fuyuki, I want to say. Like, both of them get introduced at the last episode for a few minutes, uh, and we see that Fuyuki and, and Sayori talk for a little bit, and uh, no communication has happened between uh, Fuyuki and Tsubasa. Tsubasa hasn't talked to Sayori either. He's just kind of been in a state of shock, not knowing what to do. But Fuyuki actually has to leave. She has to go, and she's already got her stuff packed. She's on her way to the airport, and we see that Rena shows up. She actually made extra desserts, which is random at this point. It feels random because of the fact that it just was just really not feeling it has anything to do with anything. But luckily, Subasa getting his dad's help in this one. And I want to say the parents overall in this show have so much to do. And if they do a second season, like I said, they have to fix things. But we have not even met other people. And um, they are phenomenal characters. Uh, but we see that Subasa's dad helps him out. He gets him to the airport. He calls out to Fuyuki. They both have this beautiful little moment. Uh, and she's like... I'm only going to be gone for two weeks. And so Subasa feels like the biggest weenie because he's just said, you know, I will wait for you. I will love to see the Sakura bloom again with you back there. Like, I'll wait as long as it takes. And, of course, she, I don't know why she didn't reveal this sooner. That she was only going to be gone two weeks. But she said, this is a big step for me either way. Like, I've never been able to do something like this. So... I'm just nervous, and understandably so. She's never left Hokkaido. This is a big step for her and the path that she wants to take, which is she wants to be into makeup. And so she 
now feels pumped up. She's ready to go. She heads on out. We see that time passes a little bit. And we have Sayori and Tsubasa talking. And this is already the end of the episode. So I'm thinking maybe we're going to get something else. But it ends with Fuyuki coming back in. And we have them sharing food and getting in trouble. And the episode ends. That's my biggest complaint. Like those two weeks, there was a lot of things that happened in the manga that they just cut out. Gave it an original anime ending. And that's what leads me to believe that they're not going to be doing a second season. Perhaps this isn't doing as well as they may have thought it was going to do. Because of popularity, they may not they may not be a second season. But if there was enough popularity, I don't want it to happen. And I'm sorry that I'm caught up on that. It's just I don't get to say this much about shows and mangos. Like, I don't get to say this very often, but it just ruined it for me. And I hate to say it about this one because this one had so much potential. But guys, that is it for me. I'm sorry for the ranting, but I got to get it out there. I want to know what other people think. So let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. As always, I'll stay safe, take care of yourselves and others, and I will catch you all later.